Today, Capital Area Human Services unveiled a comprehensive plan to address the opioid epidemic in the greater Baton Rouge area. Local 33's Amber Smith has the specifics on opioid abuse here and how area leaders are planning to address it. Back in March, Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom called on the Capital Area Behavioral Health Collaborative to create a community-wide response plan to combat the opioid epidemic. That plan is now unveiled. The public release of the community-wide response plan is indeed a momentous achievement. Coroner Bo Clark says there have been 80 opioid overdose deaths so far this year in East Baton Rouge Parish. 36 were heroin related and 22 were fentanyl. Fentanyl has become the next chapter to the opioid epidemic story. The community-wide response plan to the opioid epidemic provides nine steps to decrease opioid abuse in the area. Step one is understanding addiction and reducing the stigma. Education that addiction is actually a long-term chronic brain disease that can be managed through evidence-based practices and therefore it needs to be met with a public health response. Another recommendation is to limit access. There are a lot of people who have prescription medications in their home. About over half of people who misuse prescriptions get them from family and friends. And we also know that there's more prescriptions than there are people in Louisiana. There's a lot of opioids out in the community, in homes, in medicine cabinets that are easy and accessible. For Local 33, I'm Amber Smith. The health officials also stress the importance of preventing overdose through reversal methods like Nartan.